This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Sheldon Giff and Leah Hicks with me from our Smith Falls and District Arts and Culture Council. Thank you very much for coming here. Leah, you're the president, mm -hmm. and Sheldon, you're the secretary treasurer. Yes. And the council's been around since 20, 2011. Maybe you can speak a little bit of what the council is. Uh, the council has really evolved. It's gone from an enormous amount of people, and the, the table was at 20, 20 uh heads at one point to uh, about four. It, it, com it completely declined, almost fell apart because of COVID. We had no finances. We had zero on the table. So we are managed to grow back. The town has helped us out, plus the fundraising we've done and the, the money we get from the members. And we have really uh, blossomed through it. So now our table's are almost full. Uh, our membership is about 30 and it's growing every week. We have about a couple new new members and it's really wonderful. Even some old members are, are starting to come back so they can see the growth and see the opportunity and see how they can um, contribute to arts and culture as a whole. Well, so many suffered through the pandemic and through COVID and everything, you know, and numbers dropped and people were afraid to get together. But now, obviously, people want to get back together and, and celebrate. So you're yeah. doing really well. We, um, like Leah said, like we were down to four members, wow. four board members, including like four members. And uh, we had a long discussion of, are we viable? Are we going to make it through COVID? Um, we couldn't fundraise. We couldn't um, apply for um, um, different municipal funding that was available, provincial funding that was available. And so we came up with a strategic plan and it was a two-year plan to get us back on track. We reviewed uh, past events that we used to do. Um, we looked at new things that we could do for art uh, and culture related initiatives within the town. And we just got to work and it took about six months before we really started to see some progress. And now we're just railroading through everything. So we'll, we'll meet all our mandates by December of this year and then we'll start a new strategic plan. And I think a lot of people did that as well too because as, as doors started opening, right. some of our old events came back but people were you know, in the mindset of let's start something new, which is yeah. what it sounds like you're doing. So we had to slowly ease into our events. We had to you know, go with all the COVID guidelines. We had to talk to our members and make sure that they felt comfortable and safe. And slowly but surely brought back events like the Fillable, the Joyce Brennan Award, the Zombie Walk. Um, and then this year, we're looking at some new fundraisers, which we're going to talk about today. Um, so we're excited for it. I, I think, you know, when we talk about the Arts and Culture Council, too, I think a lot of people may just go to, you know, painting, that sort of thing in their mind, what, what an arts culture is. But it's so much more. It, it, it goes in so many different areas of art, from just music, uh, plays, or, uh, painting, or acting, you name it. There's so many different avenues for arts and culture and it, it's really beneficial because people don't know that awareness. So we're trying to have different uh, events that introduce a lot of different aspects of culture and arts. And, and because of your council, our community gets introduced to so many people. It does, and we every event that we do, all the arts and culture initiatives that we put out or we support, we try to tie it into another organization or several organizations that help the community. Um, so we have later this summer, there's the teen writing uh, competition with the Smith Falls Public Library. The SFDACC um, gives a $100 cash prize to the winner of that. Um, we have the Joyce Brennan Award where we honor arts and culture um, advocates in the community, not necessarily just Smith Falls, it's Smith Falls and District. Um, we have um, youth awards for that as well. We do high school bursaries for four different high schools, which we're starting that application process this month. Um, you know, when we do the zombie walk, we try to make it as a fundraiser for the food bank. So we're always trying to help other organizations within the town, but the main goal of supporting artists and cultural advocates in the area. Well, you're making great partnerships, that's for sure. That's for sure. Now, you have an event coming up. It's the Mother's Day Market. Yes, so we have the Mother's Day Market. It's our first spring market since 2019. Um, it's May 13th from 10 to 3 at Hanley Hall. Uh, it's a fully accessible venue, so there is an operated lift. We have over 30 vendors. It's a maker's market, so anyone at the market must make the product that they bring. Okay. Um, all the food vendors are all um, registered with our health unit, um, so everything is on the level. 
Um, we've got a vendor competition. So some of the vendors are going to be dressing up in a spring theme and any of the guests that attend, if they're four and older, they'll get a little ticket and they can vote who they think is the best theme. Like Have the best some fun table. with it. Definitely. It also encourages the shoppers to go table to table so that they're going through and they get a chance to talk to the vendors. And then we have vendor prizes as well. Um, so vendors can win uh, you know, their next free table and some additional prizes. And we've got uh, door prizes for mothers. So if you're a mom, you can fill out at the, the basket table and win some prizes as well. Oh, your poster here, I've got it on my phone here. And then you've got a list of people and, and some of them I know quite well and some of them are new. So that this is great for them too, you know? Like, yeah, so some of them are established artists that mm -hmm. have been in the community for quite a while. Um, we also feature five youth vendors every market. So these are artists as young as six all the way to 30. Um, they've never done markets before. This is an opportunity for them to get exposure, make some money. Um, and if they have uh, a good experience with it, we kind of encourage them to continue on. Um, it's a great way to, uh, we've even had actually uh, local artists that have been painting and doing art sculptures for years, but have never sold their work. So we've been encouraging them to come out. So we have three of those this year as well, this Mother's Day market. I, I love the fact that you're encouraging the youth. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, if you don't learn art or if you don't get behind art and be passionate about arts and culture, then, you know, as generations get older, um, younger people aren't stepping up and volunteering. Um, you know, Lee and I are the youngest on the SFDACC. Um, but you need a mixed age group to really go out there and get things done because you're trying to appeal to a whole age. Yeah, of diversify, yeah, yeah for totally. sure, for sure, for sure. Now, Leah, uh, maybe you can speak a little bit about, you said the, the, the town has supported you. I know they've got some of the artwork is at the at town hall at uh, town hall. It's been a, it's been a huge success. Uh, so far we've had five artists. Uh, presently we have Tim Saunders who does beautiful landscapes out of oil and they're all in the surrounding areas and they're, it's just, it's worth a look. He's going to be there until May 23rd and after May 23rd there's going to be Susan Leslie who makes, uh, who draws rabbits and they're just wonderful. They're, they're great. I know exactly who you're talking about too. Yeah, she's getting quite popular in the area. Mm. I, and I love when you look at a painting and you think, I know where that, that is, and it's a beautiful painting, and then you find out it sits in your back door, it's just down the street, you right, know? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Now, Sheldon, we've got a dance coming up, the Decades Dance. Yes, we have the Decades Dance. That is June 17th at the Smith Falls Legion. Doors open at 7.30, music starts at 8, and it runs until 1 in the morning. Um, and it's based by decades. So we're starting with the 50s, so from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., it's all 50s music. It'll be a mix of some slow dance songs, and then, you know, more rock and roll. Um, the nice thing about this is that if you're into, you know, 70s and 80s music, you don't have to go to the dance until that time. If you're only a 50s and 60s fan, you can leave when that's done. Um, tickets are $25 and they're available at the Rito Candy Shop in Perth and uh, they'll be on sale up until the day of the dance. It's being DJed by DJ Shark. Um, and we're encouraging people to dress up for their favorite decade. That'll be fun. Yes. So we've got, you know, if you want to be in your poodle skirt, if you want to dress like a, a big hair, yeah, yeah. If you want the afro, <laughs> you know, um, the neon colors, mm -hmm. whatever you're feeling. Um, but we'll have prizes per hour for that decade. Um, so we're encouraging people to dress up. And if you want to be there for the whole event, you want to change out every hour, you can totally do that as well. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. That sounds yeah. like so much fun. So the Mother's Day market's May 13th. 10 to 3. 10 to 3. Yeah. And that's at Hanley Hall. Hanley Hall. Is there a charge to get in? Is there nope, free admission. Free admit? um, okay. Lots of parking on site at the St. Francis parking lot. Um, and again, it's fully accessible. There is an operated lift and it will be manned. Excellent, excellent. And we've got the dance on June 17th. And if we could just make mention of uh, the Artisan Village in Smith Falls, uh, that's a I don't know if it's a partnership or... Um, so the Artisan Village that will be having its grand opening May May 17th, 17th yes. yes. Uh, we'll be there for the ribbon cutting. Um, so they are actually a member of the SFDACC. Mm -hmm. um, so the Arts Council, Leah and myself included, got to do a little sneak peek tour. The place is amazing. Um, they've been working really hard around the clock to get it open. Um, there's going to be multiple different venues for artists and artisans to rent space. Uh, there's an opportunity for a farmer's market, 
there's an opportunity to have t uh, taught classes. Like the, the possibilities of that building are endless. Excellent. And that's at 10 Maple Avenue yes. in Smith Falls. How do people get a hold of you if they want more information? Um, they can email us at smithfallsarts at gmail.com. Um, or they can email us, or sorry, they can check our website, smithfallsarts.com. And your Facebook page. That's and where I always find you. Yeah, Facebook page as well, <laughs> Smith Falls Arts. Oh, that's great. Now, is there anything you'd like to add before we wrap up? Uh, I really encourage you to come up to the yes. dance, you know, uh, as well as the Mother's Day Market. A lot of these artists have really been struggling to get their, their artwork out there, um, and we're really encouraging people to come and attend. Even if you don't buy, come and see what people are doing, um, because you never know. There might be something there for mom, you know, there might be something there that you like yourself. There could be a possible partnership. Um, you know, encouraging our younger artists and our artists that have been around in this area for years that have never gone out and saw, you know, recognition for their artwork. Um, and then for the dance, you know, the, these events that we do basically fund our operation. So when we're doing scholarships, when we're honoring people through the Joyce Brennan Award, when we're doing our partnerships with the, the library or the food bank, um, you know, it's, it's, it's these, these initiatives are what get us through it year after year. That's right, that's right. And I mean, you can meet the artists and uh, learn more about what they and, do. Maybe and, you're interested in that sort of thing. Yeah, and you know, and if it's something that you've been thinking about doing a market and you're not sure, come mm -hmm. and talk to us. You know, we're there to help. And you know, it doesn't matter if you know, you've been doing it for 10 years, you've only been doing it three weeks. If a market is something that you're interested in, in getting involved in, we're here to help. That's right. And Leah, yourself, you, you've held classes to teach people art. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I've, mm -hmm. I've, hold, I've held classes and I try to get involved in it as much as I can. I, feel I am really trying to promote the arts and culture, so I, I recommend becoming a member and helping us bring people together and bring uh, joy and happiness to people and experience new things. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I, uh, I look forward to your for Mother's Day market. It sounds like a great time. Meet a lot of people in our community. Learn more about our community, which is uh, it sounds like an opportunity to do that too. So thank you very much for coming here. Mm -hmm. Sheldon Giff and Leah Hicks with our Smith Falls and District Arts and Culture Council. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for thank having you. us.